August 3rd, 2003, I was on vacation with my family in the Outer Banks in North Carolina. Um, I was having a water fight with my sisters and my parents were just up on shore, just uh, relaxing. Um, I ran into something that looked like a pink and purple balloon, washed up on shore, and so I kicked it, being curious, just to see what it was. Um, at the same time, um, my sister came up behind me and dumped a bucket of water over my head. Um, so I ran up to shore to my parents crying, who thought I was upset for losing the water fight. Unbeknown to them, however, my foot was in excruciating pain. We were unaware, but I had encountered the painful sting of the Portuguese man -o -war, which is a jellyfish found in the warm tropical areas. And that's a picture of it from the bottom of you. Um, we quickly packed up the car and drove to the local medical center, thinking that this could be a fatal encounter. Unfortunately, it was a Sunday afternoon um, on a small island, and the only medical center around was closed. So my dad, in a panic, called 911, and who connected him with poison control. They gave him instructions on what to do if you encounter a jellyfish, and I will now pass this information on to you should you ever find yourself in a simi similar situation. If you are stung by a jellyfish, you first must eliminate any chance of further injuring yourself. Then you must stop the nematocysts, which are the stinging cells causing pain, um, from firing before removing them and treating the injury. Uh, this brings me to the first step, should you find yourself or someone you know having been stung by a jellyfish. It is crucial to eliminate the chances of increasing the severity of the injury. Your first step is, if you're in the water, get out. Otherwise, you could get stung again. Also, if you have an allergic reaction to the jellyfish sting, you, it's possible that you could pass out and then drown. Um, and as soon as you get out of the water, treatment can begin, so that's the first step. Um, next, you want to wash the stung area with salt water. Um, this will wash away any venom or loose tentacles that could still be on the affected part of the body. Just do not remove any tentacles with your bare hands because you could get stung on your hands if all the venom hasn't yet been extracted. Um, just do not wash the area with fresh water because this causes the nematocysts, which are the stinging cells. It causes them to fire more toxins, which will create more pain in the victim. Uh, now that you have removed chances of further injury, your next focus should be to stop the firing of the toxins, which have been injected into your body. When nematocysts fire toxins, it causes great pain and discomfort. This, therefore, becomes the priority to stop and prevent firing them. According to Biotech Newsweek, journal in 2009, nematocysts are hollow, pointed, or corkscrew-shaped barbs, which are released when tentacles come into contact with the human flesh, causing a painful stinging sensation. It's therefore the first priori priority to stop the nematocysts from firing. One way to do this is to add vinegar um, to the wound. Um, the vinegar stops the release of toxins. Uh, you can also use rubbing alcohol in absence of vinegar. What you want to do is you want to soak a rag in vinegar and lay over the affected area, or you could just pour it over the wound. Um, just don't rub it, because this encourages the nematocysts to start firing again. Next, you want to apply a baking soda and water paste um, to the wound. Um, and then, after that's on it, you want to use a credit card and scrape off the paste. The credit card helps to extract the venom, while the baking soda prevents the nematocysts from firing as they're removed from the wounded area. Uh, removing the nematocysts is the key step because it prevents further firing of toxins, resulting in less injury and pain to the victim. Now that the nematocysts are removed, treat the area. Um, treating the affected area results in faster healing with less discomfort for the victim. If possible, consult medical attention right away, especially if there's an allergic reaction because this could become fatal. Um, next, heat or ice the injury, whatever is most comfortable to the victim. However, if it swells, be, certain, be sure to ice it. Next, you want to add Benadryl cream um, to the wounded area, especially if you have an allergic reaction, because this helps a lot with it. And it also helps to relieve itching later on as the sting begins to heal. Now that I have told you how to treat a jellyfish sting, I will close in saying this. Most jellyfish are very <coughs> harmful, only slight discomfort when you come in contact with them. Every so often, however, people find themselves in similar circumstances that I was in. Um, and the Portuguese man of war can be potentially deadly if you're stung severely enough. Um, according to Mark Leavitt, the author of PortugueseManOfWar.com, toxins from tentacles are about 75% as powerful as cobra venom, um, as many jellyfish can be. Um, 
I was fortunate, however, because I only kicked one that was washed up on the shore. Immediate treatment was crucial to relieve the pain, which is why I'm sharing this information with you guys. Um, if you're found in a circumstance of limited treatment, a tip from the locals is to urinate on the wounded area. Um, while this is an old wives' tale, many people claim that it actually works, having to do with the, um, changing the acidity of the wound, um, supposedly results in less pain, so um, you can try that out if you want to. <laughs> Um, so next time you find yourself packing for a trip to the beach, think about packing some vinegar, baking soda, and Benadryl cream should you find yourself in an emergency jellyfish encounter.